Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy and today I'm going to be doing a ultimate deep clean the house with me. I'm going to be doing the living room, the kitchen, and then I'm also most importantly going to be taking down all of the decorations from the holidays that we had inside. We have the tree up, the Christmas tree, we have little decorations everywhere, we have lights and stockings and all that fun stuff, putting away the gift wrapping, all of that stuff. It looks like Christmas threw up in here, so I love the holiday decorations and the trees and the lights. It makes our home feel so cozy and warm, but it's just time to just put everything away. So if you need some inspiration and some motivation to get your holiday decor down, keep watching this video. If you're new, we would love to have you come subscribe and be a part of our family. But let's get started in cleaning. Thanks guys. Okay, so here is all of the things that we need to be putting away. Here's all the stockings we need to put away. The tree needs to come down. It is just time to get all of this stuff down. Those lights, although I could kind of leave them there and I love the ambiance of the lights, especially when it gets evening time, but I just want all of the Christmas stuff out of here. We're going to put away all of this Christmas stuff including those trees. This guy needs to come down. We went to Walmart and bought some storage containers. This is for the bigger ornaments like these big guys. And then we bought a wrapping paper container and the rest of the decorations are gonna go in our regular bins that we have. Dining room needs to be cleaned and the kitchen needs to be cleaned. So let's get started. In case you're wondering about baby bump. Let's take this off. Yeah. Everything is going really well. 20 weeks today. Hi baby girl. <laughs> Okay, so I am starting off by cleaning off the dining room table and then I'm going to use my Method Almond Scented Wood Polish. I love this stuff. It smells like almond cookies with a hint of cherry. It smells super fresh and it leaves your wood very shiny and sleek looking. I love it. And first thing I do when I'm cleaning the kitchen or any area of the house is pick up all of the garbage. So I'm going counter by counter getting all of the garbage and our garbage can was already full so I emptied that garbage. And I am wiping down the interior and exterior with some disinfecting Clorox wipes. Um, the garbage can can harbor so many gross things in there like meats and rotting vegetables and dirty diapers so I definitely love to disinfect that area for sure. Now I'm going to use my Method Honey Crisp Apple All Purpose Cleaner. I love that. That's my ride or die. I love the smell of that and they sell that year round. I find all of my Method products from Target or from Grove Collaborative. I only had a few dishes in the sink and those were the girls' little dishes. So I hand washed those with my mint Mrs. Meyers dish soap. I really love that. That's also a really super fresh scent and that's also a year round product. Thank you. 
For the past two months, I have not been able to make any smoothies because I can't find the blade bottom to my Nutribullet and it's really bothering me. I don't want to pay for a replacement part. I actually don't even know if they sell replacement parts for the blades, but um, I know the girls didn't take it. The only thing I'm thinking is it's like lodged in a drawer somewhere or it accidentally got thrown away in the garbage. But it's really bothering me because I've been craving smoothies and I don't like paying five or six dollars for them at the restaurant. Now I'm taking my baking soda cream cleanser by Mrs. Myers. This stuff works wonders. It works super amazing. When I'm done cleaning my kitchen and the sink, um, in my porcelain sink, I spray or squeeze the Mrs. Myers cream cleanser in the bottom of the sink. I let it sit there for a while and then I either wash it down or scrub it and it gets off any stains and yellow parts or any rust that you can see from um, pots and pans that were sitting in there. It works really good. I had to bust out my magic erasers and clean off some pen marks that were stubborn and did not want to come out that Shukri accidentally got onto the counter. So now I'm heading into the living room and I'm washing all of the blankets and throws that were on the couch. And I'm using again my method wood polish for my coffee table and I'm gonna dig into the living room. Yeah, you see that mess right there? Mm-hmm, that's actually blood. It's prime rib drippings that someone had spilled and failed to tell me on Christmas Eve when we had Christmas Eve dinner with family and friends at the house. But I cleaned it off and it came off really, really well. Do a quick shout out. Look at these gorgeous Ray Dunn candles that my brother John Ross and his wife Morgan got. They're super cute. Thanks, you guys. Love you. I used my method um, heavy duty degreaser on that painted piece that I did myself and it didn't bring up any paint or anything so that works really really good at dusting and getting off any gross grime and residue off of that painted piece. Got our new couches for one month. I'm absolutely in love with them. I love the color. I love the plushness of them. Every few days I rotate and plush and plump up the pillows to keep everything fresh and plump looking. Love, love, love this new couch. So now it's time to start um, undecorating. Totally tired of seeing Christmas stuff everywhere. I got this super cute container for $5.96 at Walmart. It was super handy for the bigger and oddly shaped ornaments that we have. I am putting away our flocked tree, which made the biggest mess. It was my first year getting a flocked tree and it made a mess everywhere. There was trails of flock all over the house, but it was super pretty and super worth it. And that tree was only I think 25 or 35 bucks. And these little three foot tree topiaries that I'm taking down, they were super cute. I love them. I really wish I didn't have to take those down, but they're just too festive looking with the lights. I guess I can turn the lights off and I don't know, I might play around with those later on. Taking down our stockings and our little mini LED lights. Just finally happy to get all of the holiday decorations up out of the house and into the garage for next year. Um, a tip that I would like to give you guys, if you guys have any batteries in any products that you guys are using and putting in storage for next year, next season, take the batteries out. Like those were new Duracell batteries. They were in for only literally the month of December and now I'm taking them out. So they're still pretty much brand new instead of them just sitting in the garage with those LED lights or whatever you're using the batteries for, definitely take them out and use them for something else or save them. And there is legit nothing worse than sitting down on somebody's couch and smelling the funk from some funky blankets and throws that are on the couch. So about once a week, yes, I was picking out a wedgie. About once a week, I will um, 
take all the throws and blankets from the couch and throw them in the washer and dryer. And I'll use extra fabric softener on them. I use the Unstoppables and um, they just smell so fresh. They literally will like stay fresh for several days after I use the Unstoppables. And it makes the blankets and throws super, super comfy and soft. So yeah, wash your throws, you guys. A lot of people don't realize that they need to be washed and refreshed. Now it's time to vacuum. Um, you will notice here in a little bit, I'm going to be in completely different clothes and it's gonna be like the next day. I had to do this video in two days because mom life and it's just me at home with the girls. So it's really hard for me to clean like the whole house in a single day. I didn't even clean the girls' room or the toy room or the bathrooms or my room. So even me just cleaning the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, vacuuming, dusting, doing a couple loads of laundry, that's really hard for me with the babies. So yeah, that's why this video was made in a two day segment. So yeah. Oh, just an FYI, in case you've noticed that our huge area rug that was gray and white shag on the floor in the living room is gone. It's because when we got our new couch and got rid of the other sectional, I rolled up that blanket and I'm going to put it in our room for when we get our new bedroom set, which it should be here hopefully by the beginning of January and it's going to go, or excuse me, the beginning of February and that rug will go perfect with our new bedroom set and that'll just go under the king size bed that we're getting so i wish february would come sooner when we got it and when we ordered the bed in november they were like it's not going to be here for 77 days but i was super in love with the whole set and i just agreed to it but it's already been over a month since we ordered it that time flew by so the next month will definitely fly by also Time to sweep and mop. You know when you start sweeping and mopping, it means you're almost at the end of your journey. So again, it took me two days to clean up these areas, but I'm super glad that I did it. And once everything is clean in my house, it's so much more easier to keep up for the next few days or the next week or two. Little by little, clean up your mess, clean up as you mess up, and the house won't be so junky and cluttered and dusty and dirty. So, um, yeah, I'm almost done. And then at the end of this clip, you're gonna see me vacuuming. I know I vacuumed yesterday, but um, just in that short amount of time, the girls got like little snacks and things on the carpet because they're one years old and three years old and that's what they do. Um, but yeah, I'm just going, going to do a vacuum again and that'll be it. So I'm so glad you guys watched this whole two day cleaning with us. I hope you guys get some motivation from this video and get your Christmas decor down. I know it's like dreadful to think about taking all of that beautiful decor that you spent so much time putting up, taking it down. But once you do, it's so rewarding. And then after I took everything down, I almost kind of felt like my house looked naked. I don't know if you know the feeling, but so what days does everyone take down your guys' decor? I know a lot of people will take their decor down December 26th, literally the first day after Christmas, or people wait until January 1st, or some people are just like holiday rider dies and leave that stuff up all year. So if you can do that, more props to you. But I definitely had to take that stuff down and get it uncluttered. Let me know in the comments when you guys take your decor down.